Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the Game 2 of the Round of 32 match between Nuru and Spartacus. Spartacus must have won the toss because he's starting with a ball up against Nuru. The first round, well the first game of this confrontation was a 1-1 draw. So if either player wins this game, they will advance to the round of 16. Um, if it is a draw, they will play a third game that has overtime enabled. So this is just a 16 turn game that could end in a draw. Very exciting. And I can tell you that Spartacus is French and qualified from the Season 5 official playoffs. Nuru is also French and qualified from Franco Bowl. So there you go. And, uh, oh yeah, Spartacus, this is the strange build, isn't it? Three blocks, two guards and a tackle. And you know, he's always, he's got the blocks for the Blitz and the LOS with the uh, Croc. So he's got like minimum amount of block that you need. And he manages to somehow put his guards in the right place and mostly hit with the block players and sometimes put a tackle in the right place he honestly feel he plays this really well um and he's got the 12 player two re-rolls last game he like failed to pick up like four turns in a row or something but ultimately ended up dominating the undead bad habits unfortunately this doesn't come up as a learned skill it's that skink Okay, these two skinks have got Lona 2 plus. They're very unlikely to have any effect. Um, oh, really, you can't say. Oh, there you go. Ah, yes, yeah, so uphill, so like, you know. The stronger player chooses the di chooses the dice. So if you like make a two dice block, it's two dice your choice. If if your opponent's stronger than you, then it's two dice uphill because it's like you know their choice. It is a weird thing. I don't know when, how, why, why that's why people call it uphill. I guess because like it's against the odds, so it's like uphill. I guess. Yeah. I guess that's the idea for. It being uphill. Yes, I I didn't I just didn't know what to do or don't. I didn't know what to do for that. I might ask I might ask Vituk what the plans are for the finals weekend and then I could have the same thing as they have for that one. Right? Yeah, fighting uphill has you a disadvantage. Yeah, maybe that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Oh, and he moves him. Just the thousands of years of history. just need two though, wouldn't you? You just need two. No one's ever going to win three. Look at what esports do. <laughs> okay, Mummy Blitz. Just a push. Oh, there you go, couldn't be pistol. Yeah, I guess it is from just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, yes, I have... Uh, it's over if you've got the high ground, isn't it? So yeah, I guess it's all just from history. Right? 
I just didn't know why it was specifically, you know, that in Blood Bowl, but I guess, yeah, it's just a natural thing. That's why it's done that. So the mummy's in, but of course the guards, now, like, the guards help in this matchup, right? The guard comes in and makes it a 2D. I just, uh, the reason I don't like this build is because <laughs> it's skill intensive, right? Like, it is actually skill intensive. You need to have your guarders not getting blitzed by their mighty bow players. You need to be, have your three block guys making all of the blocks and blitzers. And you need to have your tackle, you know, stopping dodgers from dodging. And it's just hard. It's just hard to get all of your things in the right place all the time, right? It's much easier just to have six block and then everything's all the same and it's just easy. Oh yeah, red blue, yeah we had red blue, didn't we? Yeah. I was actually looking at thinking that green's okay, but the skinks are like identical, aren't they? So yeah, 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 red blue. Yeah, it's sort of that the problem is it's this the blue is so light that next to the skinks it's really only you really only need it for the skinks because yeah the green the green backs are okay here when it's the other side it's a bit closer right everything's light blue i just wish that you could change the color of the saurus right if the saurus could just have different colored skin for Mummy gets both mummies knocked down this turn. Crocs unactivated. Yeah, he actually picked up the ball. Unbelievable. On on the on the chameleon skink though, which he probably shouldn't have. You know, again, like you just want you don't want the ball on the chameleon skink, right? I, you know, I don't know if he caught it or not, honestly. I was a bit distracted at the start. Oh god. Don't do that. Don't do that again. He might have caught it, right, because he gets on the ball. Yeah, he caught it. So he caught it with on the ball. So it's good if you catch it. If you catch it, you keep it on him. But if you don't catch it, you pick up with a different skink. Is the rules for the chameleon skink. So it's not great having it on the chameleon skink, but it's good that you, you know, you got it without a dice roll. Oh wow, we're, running out. we're blitzing a skink strategy. Reddit classic. And the rush so he doesn't get punched into the uh, crocs as well. And of course, um, Spartacus has the tackler that can blitz him. Which might. Tanks all done. Oh God. <laughs> I've got no idea where the score indicator is there. That's hilarious. Christ, could don't be any busier. Jesus Christ. What an appalling screenshot. <laughs> Honestly, chameleon things should have something like, like foul appearance or trickster or something. In the middle, on like the right, there's like a little gold thing. Is that what it is? Oh, 
Oh, so you can have it here where the end of turn thing is, right? Ah. Oh. Okay, well maybe something will happen tomorrow. I can't do it now, obviously, because we're in games. And I can ask, uh, I can ask Vituk anyway what the plan is for... Um, The problem is with like the red and the blue and stuff, isn't it? But it's an idea, something. Oh yeah, the game two, just have game two. Zero, one, zero. Nuru was if so Nuru was ahead I'd put like game two and then like brackets one nil. And if Spartacus was ahead I'd do game two brackets zero one. That's what I just said, one zero zero. So like so if if Nuru had won the first game No I wasn't Elp, I'm saying so the one zero zero would be if Nuru had won the first game, it would just be one zero, right? Because obviously they haven't drawn. Because it's over. So if Nuru had won the first game it'd be game two, brackets one zero. And if Spartax had won the first game it would be game two, zero, one. He hasn't beaten everyone off here. Oh yeah, even, or advantage Spartacus, yeah, that's not bad. Gets a removal. I mean, it's not simple trying to organise it in the middle of a game, is it? Let's be honest. So two removals for Nuru struggling, isn't he? It, he was lucky to get a draw in the last game. And now, uh now it's hard for him right now. Deuce. Yeah, like, uh, like the old tennis. OK. 
Okay, push. <laughs> it does seem pretty bad for the undead, yeah. Especially this this crazy lizard man team that has guard to hit the mummies. <laughs> Did the sage say just kill the skinks? Oh no. Oh no. Uphills the crocs, nails him. <laughs> Sounds like sage advice. <laughs> I mean, it could be guard. It's it's tough between guard and block, honestly. It really is a tough call between guard and block. Yes, yes, Ordon. I always love that when people say, "What's the most, what's the most underrated skill?" I always answer guard, <laughs> and then people are like, "But everyone thinks guard's good," and I'm like, "Yeah, but if anyone doesn't think it's the best, it's underrated." <laughs> Hello, N one 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 one. It was a one one draw their first game, so if either side wins this game, they win game. <laughs> they win the confrontation. Yeah, sometimes people take Mighty Blow into the guard, yeah. But I mean, that's generally for team development, right? To be fair, Mighty Blow is pretty good at winning games as well. Doubling your removal rate, pretty strong. This isn't so much about beating off, this is more about the lizards getting in the face of the undead and can the undead, like, deal with it? And the answer is probably not. Yeah, the other yeah, movies have got a guard and my evil, yeah. Yep, that is... it's a long way around though, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So too far for him, and then this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. So not great for either of them. Not great for either of them. Yeah, the best skills are block, dodge, and guard. Now, depends on what order, and dodge is a bit more situational. Also, do block can be replaced by wrestle. Most of, the, like a lot of cases, as brilliant as block is, there are people that don't want it. You could take any race in the game and give everybody on the team block, dodge, guard, and it'd be a good build. Ooh, stun. Yeah, block and guard are universal, yeah. But dodge isn't really. Gets a full power. Right, guard is universal. If 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 wood elves had strength on 
normals, every single elf team would be loaded with guard. <laughs> the desire for guard is universal. The application of guard is universal. People wouldn't necessarily take dodge. If dodge was a primary for a biggins, they wouldn't get, they wouldn't necessarily take it. But if it was a primary for elves, every elf would take it. It's turn six. Well, because it's not a primary. <laughs> I mean, it's not a team style choice. You don't have a choice about it because it's not a primary. Skaven used three guard because they're allowed to. Elves use one guard if they're allowed to. Like, it's not a team choice, right? No choice. It's a primary, so they take it. The old, in fact, one team chooses not to take guard that could, and that's vampires. So there you go. Oh god, if defensive could be used offensively, it would be insanely brokenly overpowered. Crocs getting stunned makes this, like this is probably go turn right, turn six. Those two stuns make it a little bit tricky. Turn six panic. He's only movement seven. Hating this turn from Spartacus so far. Maybe he's forgotten what turn it is. Gets the pal. Vamps, Vamps just wants stats, right? Vamps just want a lot of stats. The vampire dream. Well, the actual vampire dream is dodge stats and then block up at legend. So he's, he's got his. He's, he, this is okay. Actually, to be fair, this is okay, Spartacus. What would the perfect fantasy football game look like if you could design it? Good question. I'll be honest, I've got no idea what modern board games are like. I imagine it would uh, have less feel-bad moments than Blood Bowl does. You, what you could do is here, you could 1D him, right, to rush with the mummy. That's pretty tempting, honestly. Like, because it's just like. What's it called? Like, it's like. Uh, <laughs> one night. It's. Uh, it's more efficient, the kind of thing, isn't it? You know, you just one player there and then one player blitzes. Now he's got to put in a player for the extra assist if he wants to 2D him, and then he's also dealt with kind of easily because he's strength 4. Whereas if the mummy was on there, he couldn't get dealt with easily. So I think probably should have uh, moved these guys and then one deed and then wash blitzed. Oh yeah, um, no, that was that was terrible. Death zone or whatever, that was terrible. Ogre team, Ogres probably isn't so good because they haven't got Loma, right? Pro vamps are decent. The problem is, you'd only take Pro if, like, you could, uh... It was like a short league. 
otherwise stats are, are the best. Yeah, Death Zone. Blitz Pit was the uh, was a, was actually pretty good, wasn't it? It 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 should be faster. It wants to be faster, and it wants to like have less feeling bad. That's the problem with Blood Bowl, right? Is how long it takes and how bad you feel playing it. <laughs> That's the problems. I mean, this is e really easily dealable with, right? You just blitz and then you've dealt with it. Instant two dice. I guess the problem that he's got is lack of support afterwards. Because his, his skinks are back here, all the way back here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hold on, yeah. And it's hard because the progression is one of the best things about it in terms of enjoyment. But also one of the worst. Oh my god, he dub scold. Oh my goodness. Wow. Advantage Nuru, not in the series, but in the match. Is he just going to three dice him with block and then he's dealt with? Yeah. Get to the pal. Can still score though. It can still score, but at least, you know, he did the best he could. You've got a 3D here, right? You've got a 3D. When you lose your MVP. Yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's it, right? I, I, I had a Witch Elf die once. I don't know if I ever mentioned it. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, once I had a witch elf die. And it was, uh... It was probably the worst day of my life, you know, altogether. Um, you know. When you really sit there and think over the previous 44 years of my life, you know, all the other things that have happened really fade into insignificance. When I think about that witch elf versus sick as eggs. <sighs> what a tragic day. Apple works. Huge apple. <laughs> I've heard about that. Please go into the deep end. <laughs> Oh, I have had the best Chaos team, yeah. I had the best I had the best Dark Elf player who died, and the best Chaos team that also died. Both games where all I wanted to happen was to not have the player or the team die, and it was what happened. So it's a problem because you know, like the, the it's a real appeal of the game, right? A real appeal of the game is the is the is the uh, uh, the like progression element, which you do lose with this kind of more competitive style. Who's my favourite player, man? I wonder if he's thinking about chaining this forward too, which he could. That's the best way to score. And Spartacus made some great one turns. So I've spotted the best way to score. And don't want to uh, 
say anything controversial. Oh, he didn't need to do that. He actually did not need to do that. He could have done it with a skink. He could have done it with a skink. Because this skink could have gone there. And he could have filled with this Saurus, right? But I guess he tunnel visioned and thought he needs to fill with that skink, but he could have filled with this Saurus. Yeah, he's seen the play. He's seen a play, guys. Gets the pow. Oh, that made it three dice, though. Okay, okay, that made it three, but still adding the one in six. Mm, me. Oh, actually, no. He's made the dodge. He's made the handoff. Double rush. 70% to skull. Great stuff. And he makes it. Great play, wasn't it? I mean, I also saw it. But <laughs> he did make it the three dice, so that that was maybe the right play. Yeah, that was he maybe did it better than me. That was that making it the three D was maybe better. He did have to do a two plus with the uh, skink, but uh, yeah, very nice. Perfect eight turn stall, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I <Eldon>. don't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the way he did. He made it three dice. I would, I would have just done him two. I would have just done him two. So, the undead aren't going to one turn. And uh, it just comes, I don't know why he's spending so much time. Maybe he's thinking about the uh, timeout. Maybe he's not. Maybe a little bit, Ali Yeti. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's funny because, like, looking at the roster, I don't like it. Because it's, it's too. It is the reason being is it's too skill intensive. That is the reason not to like it. There's way too much thinking there. Having to have your blocks in the right place, your tackle in the right place, your guards in the right place, using everything harmoniously. I just I feel like it's too much in a uh, game like Blood Bowl, right? But I guess if you can use it all perfectly, it's great, isn't it? Wow, they've got they've got the chameleon skink after they've received. I mean, everything has players for different players for different jobs, doesn't it? To be fair, but like. I just kind of don't like the, the, the one tackler on build and I don't like the I like the one wrestler, which elves, right? Because you one wrestle, you've got a two plus dodge and move seven so you can put it where you want it all game. And you might mess up sometimes, but you really only need one wrestle witch elf. And then wait, wait for it and then pull the trigger at the right moment and you don't really need the second one. But you know, PC on the other hand, he likes the two wrestle witches, and so do some other people. And it's it's completely fair. It's completely reasonable to like two wrestle witches because it it does give you that. You know, redundancy is great. Yeah, it removes flexibility on the team. It's very flexible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like somebody can just tag out your tackler or like target your guarder and like, you know, block and knock him over and stuff. Oh my god, somebody can just cas your Croxagol with a foul. 
It wasn't a Croxigal. It wasn't. Why did I say Croxigal? Saurus. <laughs> for some reason, I just thought it was a Croxigal. Like, I, I knew it was a two guard Saurus on the other way. I knew it wasn't a Croxigal. I just thought it was a Croxigal. Weird. Oh, why? Why would you remind me, Steve? Why? <laughs> yeah, like like two witches is good. It's the good points. The good parts of the two witches is, um, you know, redundancy. I mean that that's it. That's the that's the pro is redundancy. Um, but the cons are. You don't get block on the other one to blitz most of the time, right? So if you're blitzing with frenzy block loads, you're getting more knockdowns, more random removals, and you're losing on you're losing out on that if you go too wrestle, right? So there there is a cost to it as well. Um I mean <laughs> it, do you know what in a way, Low Bell, it almost was. Because even if he'd scored a one turn, he might still have been turned over and lose two nil. Whereas that losing that Saurus, like removing that Saurus really helps Nuru not get turned over and lose one nil on his own drive. So while it may sound silly to say that a removal is better than a touchdown, in this maybe it is against Lizard sometimes because they're very likely to score on your drive. <laughs> they're very li likely just to end one nil up after your drive. Very likely, they're a monster team. So making them less of a monster team is very good. Yep, a guard Solus down is incredible. But he's still got 11 because he's got the uh, Chameleon Skink. So he does have a 12 player. So he's still got 11 players, but um, obviously a lot of strength down. Two. <laughs> Two less strength. And if the mummies get random chips here, then um, maybe... And also, like, Nuru might not be able to stall it out, right? Because lizards are a monster team. And if he can't stall it out and has to score early, then maybe this game could be decisive. Who knows? This is a nice uh, pattern, but I'm not sure that makes it a good setup. Mm. <laughs> yes, or done. Exactly, exactly. I, don't, I like the big hats and uh, I actually, yeah, actually like the new chalk models more than more than most of the new teams. I mean, the, the, I did love the strength five catcher to be fair, Steve. But um, I don't know that the strength four leap wrestle witch. It was just. I've just never had a player like that before, right? At the end of the day, the high of catcher is just like the same sort of player that I've had before, but better. Whereas the witch elf was like a player I hadn't had before. And, uh, that was pretty good. He's going to blitz here, so if he powers it, he keeps it tagged, and if he pushes it, he doesn't, I would imagine. Powers it. Yeah, I've just never had a player like that Witch Elf before. Whereas, like, the High Elf catcher didn't do anything special, really. He was just... He was just really good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you just stop me needing two assists to kill to kill a bull centaur. But like, if 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 I'd had two assists, I'd have still made the same blitz, right? Like, so I, like, he was pretty good. But, I mean, he was really good. Yeah, fair old.
Like it was fun, obviously. The strength five witch elf was uh, the strength five cat high elf catcher was fun, but it wasn't like a, nothing I'd ever had before. Whereas the strength four witch elf was with a leap was out real. Like I've never had a plus strength dancer. Like I haven't played wood elves that much. Maybe I should have. Here we go. Mummy smash. Yeah, strength five, edge five, war dancer was, uh, that's what Daedal nearly won Chalice with, except he forgot to score. <laughs> what a disaster. Nah, baby job strength's incredible because then you don't need you don't need assist and stuff, do you? I mean the edge ups are good as well. He was uh he, he turned up in a art stream the other day, about a week ago. So he's still he's still vaguely about. Abducted by the seagulls. No, I'm, I'm, I, my my high elves were great, and then they lost to Skaven with an Edge six gutter runner and an Edge five two heads gutter runner, which is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Essentially, two Edge six gutter runners. That had a wizard. <laughs> Fair and balanced. Is he going to push forward here? It looks like he has from that tackle. It looks like that tackle is going to be like the back end of the cage. But maybe it isn't. Yes, so that's exactly what happened, yeah. And then I thought afterwards, like, I kicked their asses on defense, right? And I thought, maybe I should just try to quick score. You know, like, do a do a proper, like, elf store, right? Like, just have a thrower back. Uh, you know, and then, like, just lob it, score with the catcher, and uh, on, in two turns, and, like, play two halves of defense. That's probably what I should have done, wasn't it? Make his fireball less good, or lightning bolt less good. So anyway, back to the game. Sorry, there's been a lot of uh, there's been a lot of uh, not talking about the game, hasn't there? <laughs> so he's elf screening with his skinks at the side there. And then he's gonna block with block. Which doesn't get the mummy off. I guess if he powered, he's gonna get the skink off, wasn't he? That was the idea. And he still gets him off. He just gets a follow-up block. Gets the knockdown. Perfect timing. Not perfect timing. Just eats it and removes a zombie. Turn 11. So that mummy and zombie can both hit skinks and forge ahead down the side a little bit. 
<laughs> yes, Jeff, usually, usually he did. But this time, he was found wanting. And this is the problem, right? Like, you can't have them perfect every time. This is exactly the point of why I don't like it. Because I think he has played great. But, um... You just can't always have everything exactly right, can you? You just can't. Interesting. Yes, yes, all done. I mean, that is what you should try to do, but it's not always that easy. You can't always put the exact perfect piece in the exact perfect square, can you? I mean, first of all, you might not know what it is. But Glorious. Second, no, I won't give in try until it. I'm victorious and I will defend. I will defend. J Barza. Jimmer. Jimmer. Un unenthusiastic Jimmer. Instead of Jimmy. Thank you very much, J Barza. Staying fantastic for 32 glorious minutes. Oh, yeah. That's true, Odon. Yeah, we can end the YouTube video now. This, this, this skink is in the perfect square. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I mean, I mean, Spartak is one nil up head. Yeah, Nuru can't go for the win, so all Nuru can do is hope for you know hope for an equaliser and get to a third game where in the third game he dices Spartacus. Like really, <laughs> survive the two normal games and then dice him in the third is is the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's Truk's plan to beat Devo as well. <laughs> survive the first two, dice him in the third. Or like survive in the first one and dice him in the second, right? Or dice him in the first one and survive the second. Like so it's it's still it's like a very possible that people can win hard matches. Like just survive the ones where you don't dice them. And then when you do dice them win. But of course, you do have to dice them in one of them. Because you ain't winning without dicing them, basically, right? That's the, that's the, that's the problem that you're facing with uh, a lot of these teams and, and or coaches. Oh, Croc splits and he rolls a one. Bad dices from Spartacus. Though he didn't need to do that, did he? He could have done this block and then done the blitz with the garter. And he dodges there to keep the sideline somewhat protected. And another one. That might be too much though, and now there might be an opening somewhere else. Okay, that, that that's really good, isn't it? That was some good dodging. That was some real good dodging, made the tackle dodge. Hits the skink. I feel like maybe hitting the Saurus and... Uh, the problem is you can't... <laughs> you hit the Saurus. <laughs> Unless you clear these, you're just getting... I mean, even if you clear them, you're just getting annihilated. You're getting annihilated by Saurus next turn anyway. This look, next turn looks horrendous for Nuru. Absolutely horrendous. Oh my god, next turn is, is so bad. Oh yeah, the Tyson player is sad. Isn't it? It's sad, it's sad. 
pointless waste of time. I mean, as everybody should have known it would be, but at least, at least Paul went easy on him. <laughs> yeah. The 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 the, uh, the Reddit skink removal is kind of fine. He just needs players down at the moment, doesn't he? He needs two down, that's... But the source are just getting, getting him next turn. This is the problem next turn is going to be... a disaster. <laughs> yes, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, that was the highlight. <laughs> oh my god, it's awful. You can see you can see the broken fence. <laughs> and just there's four five four four like I don't know, Allosaurus and a T Rex. About to pile in. Oh, there's an exciting player here. If he wants to go for it. Real exciting play. He's got the power. I mean, I think he's seen it and is considering it. Will he go for it? Will he get it? <laughs> well done, Artemis. You won a fumble miner. You're the king of the nerds. There we go, get this pal. Oh no! No way! I can't believe he did that. I won million percent and pushing him out there and going in here and surfing that guy. A million percent. Million percent surfing him, right? The guard, the guard could come in there and you can surf him. That's so good. That's so good. I don't know how you don't surf him there on the power, honestly. And yeah, and he gets the crocs in as well. Obviously, the crocs in is great. But this Garda could have been surfed. I guess he's sticking the tackle on the side there. That's pretty good as well, to be fair. That's the... Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> as much as I wanted to surf the Garda... This is pretty great, isn't it? Because now the tackler is stuck on the sideline and there's no way through at all. So this is actually really great. God damn it. I loved surfing the guard, but maybe this is better. I mean, it is a huge overcommit, but... I mean, it's a huge commitment. Whether it's an overcommit is another question, isn't it? Because it's... Uh, I mean, your play is... handing off to this ghoul and running away. It's funny, the mummies have, have smashed at skinks a few times in both of these games and they've done absolutely nothing. Yeah, the tackle saw is in the right place. Okay, he makes the rush blitz, gets the power, chains out the ball, presumably. Yep.
wrestles him. Sad. Block would have been better, might have killed him. Can't really go anywhere here, but it is turn 13, so it's not so bad. Couldn't he have surfed the crocs? The problem with the crocs is it would be difficult. He'd need loads of guard everywhere, and he'd uh, he'd have to take you know lots of players' activations to do it. But like probably, I just didn't consider it because of like the cost of doing it. But I mean, he might have been able to. Oh yeah, I just I just meant like making that hit block would have been better. Like that's just I'm just saying like that's the bad thing about wrestle, right? That was think I was still thinking of the two wrestle witches versus the wrestle block witch, right? Like you know, every time you're blocking nine nine times, not even nine times out of ten, probably uh, seven times out. No, that's less. <laughs> nine times out of ten, blocking with block is better than blocking with wrestle right but the times when wrestle is blocking with is better is the turn you sack the ball which is really good isn't it and um sometimes when like you're clearing a guy to score or whatever so you know maybe once a half but generally like the blitzing the you know block is just better right Usually. Yeah, surfing the tackle is pretty good. Might not be, though. Now he can, uh, he can block this guy and put tackle on this one. And uh, they've kind of got a bit of... Oh, wow, he's got to re-roll that. They've kind of got a bit of both um, winning me, right? They've got the mummies that are strength five, which are incredible. And they've got the ghouls, which are movement seven with dodge. So they've, they've got a bit of both. Um, but the problem is they've only got two mummies. And while ghouls are fast with dodge, they don't have the agility. Just keeping the tackler as a safety. Like, this is a pretty good team if, like, you keep it, you know, kind of harmonious and he gets to run all the way around to get the surf. Lovely. Yeah, ghouls never regen, I've noticed. It's very sad. Always diced. Yeah, you got to dodge him off at the end. Oh, I tagged the ball, okay. Okay. I probably don't hate that as the uh, undead. Yeah, this is pretty. I mean, get pretty strong, right? Yeah. You know. Yeah, you can just blitz with the guard because you can't go anywhere else, right? So the blitz back wasn't that impactful. Sometimes it's good, like diverting their blitz, but the thing is, this guy couldn't really do anything anyway. So he might as well just blitz that, and then it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it looked horrendous when the lizards piled in. But Nuru has he's escaped and he's in scoring range, which is important because you know I wouldn't hate scoring turn fifteen as undead versus lizards. I 
Like, I'm not saying it's good to let Lizards two turn against you, but... You know, just getting the score in at all is... <laughs> is not, uh... Not easy. I actually like putting in a tackle last turn. Which is where they all went, right? Yeah, it's very much like the first game, yeah. Yeah, undead are just doing their best to survive and make something happen. Lizards here. Problem with the, the problem with the block blitz here is it's three dice anyway, so it cuts your movement. But also, with the mummy being there, if you did it with somebody else, they couldn't move afterwards, so you kind of had to do it with the... Uh, Probably had to brush and tag the mummy, right? I guess he can stink dodge to do it. Oh, he got a skink back here. I didn't even see the skink back here. Okay, well, that's okay then. There's no longer a gaping hole. I thought he had to tag on me because of this. I didn't even see. When did he get this guy across? Well. Uh, tanks. Yeah, honestly, that that skin could have just stood here. Once you've got this back here, I don't think it's worth tagging somebody to stand there. I mean, it's doing something. Could just blitz. The, um... the tackle right and then try and score <laughs> like it's terrible but he could be going out here new room if he loses this one nil he goes out and it's not looking good for him Where he can't reach, right? He can't reach. <laughs> You'd have to dodge this guy off and then hand off to him, and then he's got nothing in the way. Like he's got. He can kind of swap, but he can't really. So he's going to hand off to this. He's going to hand off to this. Double rush hand off. And then this one will get out in front.
Oh, he's not getting out in front. Does he not need to be out in front? I guess he doesn't. This is going to be a brutal turn eight, though. I mean, it doesn't look it doesn't look uh, easy to sack him, does it? He should have definitely been like one square closer to scoring threat. I think. Whoa, glorious five. Now, so I kind of hate that this uh, this ghoul is not in scoring range. So he's only got two players in scoring range. Mummy can't score. Zombie can't score. I think there's probably enough here that you can uh, you can get away without having to uh, make crazy plays. You can like assume that the, strip, the the cage will be enough, right? Because you get blitz one and face the other. Yeah, blitz this one. I like this. I like blitzing the ghoul. The ghoul's better at scoring. Oh wow! Well, not anymore. He was better at scoring. The light hasn't got dodge, and because he didn't put this guy in range, that was only the light in range. Uh, no, no region for the ghoul. Never lucky. Man, Nuru might survive. He's getting the crocs on the wall, isn't he? Is his plan. <laughs> the flipping ghoul regions. Disaster. Look how much different it is if this guy's one square forward, right? Like now he has to. Has to. Tag him probably with his skin, so that's an extra dodge he has to make. Just tag him anyway. For fun. I mean, no, it's still good to control his movement. I guess. Maybe it isn't good to control his movement. Because <laughs> I guess now you could blitz him and chain him forward in a range. But. You still have to get the ball to him, which isn't easy. Well, the difference would have been, Cosmigo, is if he was in range, he could use the blitz on the crocs, right? But now it the, the, the mummy got tagged as well. So he could chain with this. The, these guys who like made dodges at the end. Right? If he didn't make these dodges at the end, the zombie could have come in there. White could have, uh, Goo could have come there and he could have blitzed him and chained him one. And then he could have gone for like, what, a four? Very nice five minutes, a five, three. Handoff score. Now, 
or is it a three? That just isn't that bad, is it? It's, oh, it's a four plus dodge. Four plus. Um, four plus two D for a push. Maybe two two. This isn't bad at all. <laughs> like it's awful. But in the grand scheme of things. A 4 plus, 4 plus, 2D that might just make it a 2 2. 4 4 2 2 with two rerolls isn't bad at all, is it? No, 4 4. That's, uh, that's his player. Yes, he, he, he will like me into the three, yeah. But I mean, it's a four into another four. We've made them both. He's got to re roll this. Full pow. And now it's the double rush. And he fails. Oh my goodness. Well. Spartacus had a double rush without re-roll and made his. Nuru had a double rush without re-roll and failed his. And that was the difference of who advanced from this match. Unbelievable, Jeff. And with this victory, this means Spartacus will be the first player through to the uh, round of 16. Unbelievable, Jeff. And it really just was, you know, he, uh, he made his rushes. And Nuru didn't make his, but I mean, there was a lot of other play obviously during the half. And honestly, over both games, um, he was on the uh, he was on the back foot the most, wasn't he? Uh, Spartacus wins, goes through to round two, from second place in the group as well. So there you go, Nuru is won his group, won every game in his group, but then came up against Spartacus, drew and lost, Spartacus wins. Congratulations Spartacus, commiserations Nuru. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.